Hello, you're watching Shalom World News. I'm David Kerr. Here's your latest headlines from around the globe. Pope Francis has led the world in praying the rosary for an end to the current COVID-19 pandemic. The Holy Father said that the recitation of the Holy Rosary is a prayer of the humble and of the saints. He said that it allows the Christian to join with Mary in contemplating the life of her son Jesus, who he said is the merciful face of the Father. Pope Francis also urged the lay faithful to be close to one another at this time by being the first to show charity, understanding, patience and pardon. Pope Francis is also inviting the world to join him on Friday the 27th of March to pray again for an end to the COVID-19 outbreak. The ceremony from St Peter's Basilica will include adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, scripture readings and prayers of petition. This will be concluded with the Pope bestowing a blessing upon the city and the world, a blessing normally only given at Christmas and Easter. Meanwhile, an estimated 4.2 million Italians participated in a St Joseph's Day Rosary organised by the bishops of the country and aimed at ending the COVID-19 outbreak across Italy. It comes as the president of the Italian Episcopal Conference, Cardinal Gualtiero Bassetti, issued a thank you to the clergy of Italy for being selfless in their service of those afflicted by COVID-19. He conveyed his special gratitude to priests for their, quote, beautiful testimonies offered to the faithful and the church, including those priests who have risked their own health to bring the sacraments to the sick. In the United States, Bishop Joseph Strickland of Tyler in Texas took to the streets of his diocese with the Blessed Sacrament to counter the threat of the COVID-19 outbreak. Standing at the city's busiest intersection, Bishop Strickland blessed the entire city. The video and pictures of the event were later posted on Facebook and very soon went viral on social media. In the United States, the coronavirus death toll has surpassed 500 and around 46,000 cases have been reported across the US. In England, Bishop Philip Egan of Portsmouth says that the COVID-19 outbreak has to be tackled with spiritual as well as human resources. Bishop Egan issued a pastoral letter to his diocese upon the Feast of St Joseph in which he urged all to trust in the risen Lord and to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the face of the coronavirus outbreak. The bishop also conveyed his gratitude to his priests for their compassionate and innovative apostolic work during the present crisis. Finally, one non-coronavirus story. From politics to priesthood, potentially, the state of Washington's lieutenant governor is quitting public office to pursue ordination as a Jesuit priest. Cyrus Habib is the first and only Iranian-American official to hold statewide elected office in the United States. But no longer. He has now been accepted as a novice by the Society of Jesus, or Jesuits. Born to Iranian immigrant parents, Habib faced several hardships growing up. He's a three times cancer survivor and lost his sight completely to cancer at the age of eight. Despite that, he went on to be elected as a state representative in 2012, a state senator in 2014 and lieutenant governor in 2016. Good luck and God bless to him. That's all for now. Do join us next time in Shalom World News. Until then, may God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.